Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric 302 and this is Diane's equipment from New York and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. Diane's got a note with this unit and she wants a line cord installed on this telephone that has a modular plug on it that can be plugged into any modern day jack. So we'll go ahead and take care of that issue. We also want to install a dial center ring and card something to the period of the telephone. We want to go through the handset cord, the transmit, and the receive. So we want to make sure everything's working and that we clean all of our connections. We will be going through the rotary dial. It is sluggish and we want to clean, oil, and adjust the rotary dial and make sure that all of our numbers are dialing out properly. We're going to go through the network and we want to make sure that the network is wired properly and that all of the connections are tight. We're going to take a look at the bell and bell circuit. We also want to adjust the bell. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this really cool Western Electric rotary dial desk telephone. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this unit and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting and repairing process. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're finished up with the repairs to this really cool Western Electric 302 rotary dial desk telephone. We want to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and troubleshooted the transmit, the receive, the handset cord. We replaced the line cord for a more modern cord that will plug into any modern style jack. We also went through the rotary dial. We cleaned, oiled, and adjusted the rotary dial and made sure that our numbers were dialing out properly. We also went through the bell. We adjusted the bell for the most action on a ring cycle. 
We also went through the hook switch that was cleaned. So we took care of those issues. We made sure that all of the connections at the network were tight and cleaned. So we went through everything on this telephone. We also took care of some of the cracking that went on around the corners of the edges of the base of the telephone. Now they're stabilized and this type of plastic was an early type of plastic that was tenite. And so although it is pretty strong plastic, it can get brittle over time. And since the cover that's made out of tenite wants to shrink over time, it does cause cracking around the corners. Now that's a very common thing with this type of telephone because the base is actually metal and then the tenite plastic tries to shrink up around it and that's where the cracking comes from. So it's a pretty normal thing. Uh, most of the units do have some type of cracking going on around the edges and the corners. So we went ahead and stabilized the cracks as much as possible. We also installed a dial center card and ring for the finger wheel and we used a card that is to the period of this telephone. We also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this pickup in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And we have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. I'll go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of an electrical hum. I'll release it. Press it one more time. And release it. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we want to do is go ahead and use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We have a nice smooth return on our rotary now. I'm going to end in a two. Now we want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello? Hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out, totally take the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. The time and temperature is coming up after this. To hear the time and temperature, just stay on the line. Today is Monday, December 19th. The current time, 11.38 p.m. And the temperature, 34 degrees. 
we can go ahead and hang up. Now that we know that this really cool Western Electric 302 rotary dial desk telephone has been repaired, we can return this unit back to Diane and they can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great wherever it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.